Hello. Hello everyone. There you are. You were asking about how my shirt works. Well, I had multiple versions of it. So that is the very first version. Uh, I just found those LEDs in Japan, Hakiaba, and I got a controller for them. And they're not fancy, right? They by themselves they don't flash, but with a little controller I could make them flash, and that was about it. Then I changed the color, each of them come the way they are, but hey, I looked a bit like a Christmas tree, so it was uh, kind of cool to be like this at night. So I'll unplug those uh, and then show you the next version. The next version I found with the LEDs that you, you can see on my shirt that I will plug them in now. There you go. So these are a little bit smaller. They actually come with a controller here uh, that can be controlled with this remote. And I can change the colors like this. And then they have uh, patterns like that to look nice. Switch colors, fading, uh, you know, flashing here. For each thing, I can go faster or slower. And if they're actual colors, it actually lets me dim them because actually on full power they were very blinding uh, in a dark room. But when the dimming didn't work well enough, I added this little power board here and this lets me lower the voltage on them. So I'm going to lower the voltage from 12 volts to 6. And you can see now they're a lot less bright. And actually in a dark room it works just fine. You don't want them to bright because it just sucks your batteries and it blinds other people and then they become a bit upset and you know it's all about having fun you don't want to upset people so that's uh, version two uh, this didn't really take any skill on my part just you know getting the electronics together i know it looks like a mess i just have it out so i can you can see what it looks like uh, the power can work with an insanely stupid big battery like this which is totally too big that will last maybe three days uh, the other battery packs that i normally use I can have a more reasonably sized battery, that one will last about 12 hours. And that's 12 hours doing more than just this. I can be powering uh, the pants at the same time. And this one will use uh, the, those wrong batteries, the 18650s that you may have seen before. Um, they will last maybe 10 hours or so, give or take. And on all of them I have actually a little um, control like that that will warn me if one of the batteries is low, so I don't run it uh, too low. But those batteries don't like going too, uh, going flat, especially the light bulbs. Okay, let me put that aside. All right, so this one's good, but you know, again, didn't take any programming, and all those LEDs are preset. They're all one color, and that's it. That's all I can get. So I want to do a little bit better than that. That's where it got interesting. Let me grab all that stuff. Now I have this microcontroller here. Uh, it's an ESP8266. It's actually a full computer that I can power with batteries. So I'm going to plug it in. There we go. So now this computer actually controls the NeoPixels that I have on my arms and legs. Each LED is controlled separately and it can be any color that I want. Um, so that's where I actually did some programming. I first made it recognize the same reboot. I have an infrared receiver here. And let's say I want them all to be red, or green, or blue. Okay, that's kind of boring, but it just shows, you know, how it works. And then I made my own uh, patterns. Uh, one color, here I have some rainbow colors, different kind of rainbow color wheel. Uh, the one I kind of like using in clubs is this. Gives you some nice uh, moving pattern. And remember, I have a fast here, right? Or slow. I can make him dimmer or brighter. You should be able to see this on the camera. Much brighter. I will go dimmer now. So that will like last multiple days. Uh, but it's not, that's a bit low. So I go back in the middle somewhere here. 
And then I have some nice uh, little patterns, like this try with this one. Little sliding pattern. And the same one, but with a trail behind it. I like the dual pattern, like this one. And the dual pattern with a trail behind it, like that. I can also make a flash and then get the idea. I have on this multiple controllers. This tells me how much power I'm using on just the uh, NeoPixel, so I can you know, do some quick math to know how long I'm going to last. Uh, if I need it full bright or some, Like here, it's using all the LEDs, right? The worst possible scenario right now, I'm on like 0.5 amp. If I go full white, now everything is lit and it's using one and one amp. Now I'm going to make it maximum brightness and holy crap, it's using 4.5 amps. Uh, that actually will run on the battery in about an hour and a half. So it's all about managing uh, you know, how many LEDs you have on, white being all three colors, being way too bright. Uh, when I use something more reasonable like that, that uses virtually no power because, well, you know, not many LEDs are being lit, right? And even something reasonable in a film like that, uh, it's not too much. And as you can see, the same remote is changing both at the same time. It means different things for each, but I can manage it. It's at least uh, easier to carry one remote. So there you go, multi-power. Um, the voltage here has to be taken down to 5 volts for the microcontroller. Uh, and if I wanted to, there's a USB plug, so I can just use a USB battery pack for the uh, NeuroPixel, which are the legs and the arms. And then the top part here on the shirt uh, will use 6 to 12 volts. I hope that answers your questions. See you on the dance floor. Over and out.